Oh, Ottoman French. Good matchup for him. He went French on Prairie? Mate, if I went Mongol, he'd have been dead as a dodo. Dead as a dodo. Alright. Oh, no, no. Oh, yo. Who's the best player now? I think Marine Lord. But I've, I felt that Marine Lord's been probably the best for most of uh, AoE 4. There have been times when uh, other players absolutely compete with Marine Lord or look very good as well. Such as, like, I think BCQT is a very, very, very reliable second place. Um... Yeah. Where do I put myself? Somewhere in the top uh, 10. I think uh, somewhere in the top 10. It's, it's hard. No sound from the game? Oh, what did the little... There should be sound. Sorry, you mean? <laughs> I was like, oh my god, I'm having a mare, dude. I'm having a mare. Incog, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. Yeah, I, I kind of went Ottoman because I thought maybe he'll go uh, Mongol. And I was like, kind of like practicing uh, that matchup. Feels like a fun one. Blue Goose Prime. Hello and welcome. Thank you, thank you, mate. Thank you very much. Alright. A little bit of a scooter in. Skill pet as well. Thank you as well, matey. We're getting quite a few uh, subbies today. Thank you, thank you, everybody. Okay, very close to being up to tech up here. There we are. And I always like to put my uh, tech building in the bottom right of my TC. Spoke about this a few times. It makes the most sense within regards to uh, your villagers if you get attacked and them hiding. It certainly does. We'll quickly plonk you there. Oh. A bit, a bit too close to the sun. I think it might be close enough that he uh, doesn't have to defend. It looks ridiculously close. I'm going to start uh, just running around more more exploring. But yeah, I'm a bit... Uh, Maybe a little bit careful. Let's bonk you there. Alright. 
Did miss a sheet, but it's, yeah, not the biggest deal in the world. Oh, that was way too many on Fish, sorry. A wink! There's an archer range, lads, and lasses. We have revealed pretty much every resource that we want to reveal at this point. You're an old AoE gamer trying to come back into it, Demosim. Is there a co-op version? We can play against others online. Let me know which one I should be downloading. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm playing against people online right now as we speak. Uh, it's um, if you're using Steam or anything like that, it'll be the main thing that you can find. Let's do it like this, I think, is what we'll say to ourselves. Do that. Grab you. I should have got, um, what's it called, a little bit faster that. Textiles on a map like this for sure. That was one mistake that I've made. He's playing well. But it is Yui Metal, and Yui Metal is a good player. So it shouldn't surprise me that he's playing very well. Cool. Okay, we do have that now, which is good. Kind of want to make something around here as well. Even though it's a little overkill to make towers on a map like this, but maybe it's also not overkill in the sense that it's a very good map for raiding. It does have a second TC. I'd have probably gone for this, I think. Somewhere definitely uh, behind. Mm. 
There we are. So we're getting lots of archers. And there's wood, and he's got lots of wood in front here. He's got some wood behind there as well, which he can utilize, obviously. But now we're the bully on the playground. Now we do know that he actually doesn't really have um, what's it called? too much gold. His income is pretty low. Which is fantastic. And we're also going to say to ourselves, we're going to get uh, another military school here. So this is this is our power spike as a uh, Ottoman player. Very very powerful. In fact, we'll rally it to there because that is a fairly vulnerable spot there for a lot of wood. And we'll actually, and we'll do it like this. I do like this idea of uh, just making sure that our resources on this map are especially good. You know what I mean? Now, going behind this base is always annoying. So that's not what you want to do. Like, my point of attack should always kind of be an arrow to his base, but that's uh, where his eco is, so that's what we have to uh, work with here. Now, given that I need a lot of wood... We are going to start to utilize... Oh. Okay, I'm actually really happy with this tower stuff now. Because, yeah, he is, uh, you know, he's feeling the pressure. He wants to be able to raid and whatnot. We'll start killing these houses. Now, he does have plus one on the archers. And we're going to pounce. Like a madman team. Like a madman. He's going to get the meta, I think, or at least he's trying to. We'll uh, swap our uh, production. But do I need more spearmen? I just have a shit ton of archers. Maybe it's a fairly redundant uh, cause at this time. Alrighty. How much does he have? Actually, it's very close to our numbers. Now, Meta is pretty far away from being done. Maybe we'll go over here for some more houses in production. So far, I think he's played really well. He didn't. Uh, he didn't go heavy on the knights. He mainly went heavy on the um, archers, which my archers are better. But when you have this amount of archers alive, which we do, maybe it is a better choice. 
Oh. So that kind of suggests that he's getting a bit uh, low for wood, which is kind of one of the uh, the problems, right? Oh. Now all my horsemen are free, his are not. Oh, he does have a knight here, though. But let's see how long that knight lasts. Ah, oh, good few volleys. Good few volleys. Very close in numbers. I had a meta. Oh, what's he doing? I think he's trying to just uh, not let me get away. Which is absolutely bad. But then our big boy meta is going to come along, and we'll go for the we'll go for the range armor here. I make that fat. Yeah, the range armor will make my sippies very powerful. Yeah, they do. they take a while to kill now. Okay, so we're going to continue pushing a bit, but we're also going to say to ourselves, we're getting ready for the next stage of the game. Yes, we are. So that next stage of the game will be us hitting the age up. It's better with knights. Maybe. Maybe, baby. Am I watching the match tonight? Of course. Of course. You know, the way I see it, somebody's got to own the shit out of uh, those bastards. The French. Might as well be the English. When your metas go to the back, it's very annoying. Oh, well, hello. He's probably going to launch an attack after doing this to me. I would, I, I, I would do that if I was him. Wait, where are all my workers that are building? Yeah, the random towers that he has to walk through on Prairie, I think that probably is the way to play it. Even though it feels very messy right now. And that's mainly because of my situation that I put myself in, you know. Oh, let's uh, delete that, get the veteran archer upgrade. Because, yeah, they've definitely been pretty valuable. Pretty valuable indeed. Give me the wood. It's make another building. Oh, 
Kimin başım üstünedir? Atakir. Oh shit, my upgrades didn't kick in yet. I was like, I was like, huh, this isn't going that well. Yeah, I think he's in great shape actually. So one thing I'm asking myself at this point is, was I just way too not all in enough? That's kind of what I'm thinking. It feels like a funny thing to say. Veteran Royal Knights, those are powerful. Actually, yeah, we can start getting uh, knights now, eh? Out of those mad lads. Okay, what are they doing down there, right? This was so weird. Oh, 
That's um. That was not good for us. Oh shit. Fuck that. Overnight. I definitely think we're kind of dead here. I'm almost tempted to get the Janissary upgrade, which is kind of crazy thinking. I certainly am. You know what, we're gonna fucking do it. Because I, I pretty much... I'm not gonna be able to win this if the game goes on. With my uh, situation. So it's... 100% gonna have to be a... Uh, bit of a weird one. And we have plenty of crossbows as well. And we're also going to build our own... Uh, but we have a lot. Like I'm, I'm, I, I kind of have to go for like almost pure, uh, pure units at this point. Is how I feel about it. I do. Otherwise, it's just not going to work out. So basically, this is going to turn into us. Kind of doing an all-in and seeing what we can get done with it. Gotta wait for him to kind of run into us a little bit. Alright, don't want to. That's absolutely fair, good sir. That's absolutely fair. Oh, I, I literally don't have any super heat in my Emir <laughs> 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 Oops, what do we just do? Change everything. But this could be him being a bit too crazy, I feel. Is this the kind of way that you can potentially throw away a lead? Potentially. Because he definitely... He is 100% ahead here. 100%. Oh, and this is a big, valuable spot for me. Oh, me. There's a lot. And he knows it. Yeah, we're going to have to just bust through. We're going to have to. Good shots, good shots, lads. Oh, 
A lot of janissaries. It's not super amazing against these archers. I think I'm too dead. Too dead, too dead. Well played. I think I played far too... Far too... Far too nice. Early on and didn't all in enough. Because I think if I just go super all in... He's in a rough spot, but he even had trade, bro. Yeah, I was definitely not in a good place this game. Went for like a super dumb late uh, second TC, which kind of did nothing. And was super far behind on workers the whole game. Yeah, super far behind on eco. <clears throat> 